Roger, over the last decade, it's been the core four, you, Andy, Novak, and Rafa, who have won each of the Rogers Cups. Yet the game is waiting for the next three, the next generation, to take over. Are they close to unseating the guard or not so fast? I think a bit of both. I think they're definitely, you know, um, making the right moves, the right results now. But now it's about consistency and winning tournaments. At the end of the day, um, the way the tour is set up now, um, the points are from semis on, finals, and then especially victory. Um, you know, I'm just saying winning a Grand Slam is 2,000 points and losing in the quarters of a slam, I think it's 360 points. So that's an unbelievable huge gap. Even though a quarters is a still a good result in a slam, um, it's just it's a, a big point gap. And it's the same thing at the Masters 1000s like here in Toronto or other places. It just, you will always have that difference. So right. from that standpoint, it's, it's no good just playing quarters every week. You almost rather lose first round a couple and then win a few. And that's how it's set up at the moment. And I think that's the tough part for the younger guys because you usually have to come through the big three, big four, you know, once or twice a, a tournament to win it. And because they're not ranked top four yet, they maybe even have to beat three um, or four top ten players. And that's just a hard thing to do for anyone. Um, so maybe that's why I think it's going to take a while. I think Murray is getting back to his uh, back in shape. I'm playing well again. And then also Novak and Rafa anyway are, are playing so well for the last year or so. I still think it's going to take some time for young guys to really, really break through. But no doubt they have made a name for themselves. And I think we have interesting times ahead right now. Roger, you were telling me earlier, I'm finally playing well again. Where are you right now? And what did that run to the Wimbledon final do for you? I mean, Wimbledon, in the sense, was good for me just for confidence, you know, knowing that at a slam, if I play good, that I can go deep. Um, no, I don't want to say routine, but um, I can because I did have not the best of Grand Slam results in the last maybe five or so before that. The French Open was OK. Australian Open was good, you know, but then the year before that, I can't take those tournaments seriously fully seriously because I did have a, a back issue and I wasn't fully prepared. So I knew going into the US Open last year, I'm probably not going to win the US Open. And with that mindset, you're not going to win. So I lost in the fourth round and all that stuff. So I think for me, it was just good for confidence. Um, other than that, I didn't need a good result at Wimbledon because I have had a very solid and good year. I've been feeling good, practicing really hard, and it's all I feel like it's all there to be paid off soon. And I'm happy that it obviously paid off at Wimbledon, which is a, a big tournament for me. Now, you've had to reinvent your game a few times over the last number of years. What has allowed you to elevate your game again the last couple of months? Well, I, I had to work extremely hard last year to get back in shape because every time I would work hard, I would get uh, my back would block or I would get a spasm or um, I would get a setback. And over time, when you have too, too many of those, um, well, I lost confidence in my movement. I lost confidence that I could get to certain shots. I would l lose um, uh, the fun out there because I was scared of getting hurt again. Um, so I think that got me, um, made me more vulnerable, you know, uh, just overall. And I think it really all started to come back at the end of last year. So I think that was a big stretch for me in the indoor season that I made finals in Basel, I think semis in Paris and semis at the World Tour finals. And I really beat, I think, like five or six top 10 guys, which I didn't do basically all year long. So from that standpoint, that really set the tone for me for 2014. And now it's just sort of back to normal, in my opinion, you know, because I did really struggle for six months. Um, and then clearly it also attacked my confidence because I, I would realize that my shots are not there and my movement's not there. Um, so things are just more, um, um, it's just better, you know. And, and from that standpoint, now I can play more freely. Um, I had also big changes in my game. I changed the racket. Um, Stefan Edberg joined the team and just... Um, things are better, you know, and from that standpoint, I'm just very happy that uh, it's been a successful year so far. At this stage of your career, Roger, are Grand Slams the most important thing or not? No, they're not, and people think they are. Um, just because Pete Sampras, once upon a time, he said, um, for me, it's all about the slams. And then I think everybody figures that for all the top guys or guys like me or Rafa, it's only about the slams. Um, which it is not for me. That's why I'm, I am here in Toronto. That's why uh, I play a full schedule on the ATP Tour. Um, I play from January to November. If it was only about the slams, um, my schedule would be entirely different. 
Um, so there's so much more to it than just the slams. Clearly, they take a huge part in our game. I love those tournaments. I've played, I think, over almost 50 in a row now. Um, so I always want to show up there, show showcase what you got there, because it is sort of the biggest stage besides the World Tour Finals and the rankings, in my opinion. Um, so, uh, but I cannot forget what is the base, and the base is the ATP Tour, and that's where you can make a lot of points, you can make a name for yourself, you can beat other top 10 players, uh, that's where the family is at home, and uh, so from that standpoint, yeah, it, it's, it's not the most important, the slams only. You've always used the Canadian stop to get yourself ready for the hard court season and tinker on a few little things. What is the focus now, this week in Toronto, with the US Open ultimately in mind? I mean. It's pretty simple, really. It's just getting back on the hard courts and adjusting to that after playing on clay and on grass court. It's just about getting used to the movement because you feel like you can get to... It's easy to move on the hard courts, but in a way it's not because I feel like you can stop on a dime and change direction and it's hard on the body and sometimes the body is not willing to do it. So you got to get the right mindset into it that you're just happy to be hurting out there a little bit. And now this is the beginning of eight months on hard courts for me, basically. I will be playing... Um, hard courts till probably Indian Wells next year. Um, so from that standpoint, it's just a lot of hard court tennis up. So it's just about getting used to it. Um, hopefully playing well here. I'm not playing quite that well yet in practice. So I'm a little bit disappointed. But then again, I might be jet lagged a little bit. Uh, it is still early in the in the hard court season, but that's why I think the first round is huge for me now here. Just getting into the tournament. Then anything maybe is possible. I don't know. But uh, I, I look forward to it. You know, there's much more bounces now again after playing in Wimbledon. So it's just about managing those things. It's humid here. It's windy here. Getting used to the North, North American sort of conditions is, is quite different than to Europe. It is entirely different. That's why you see guys really playing well either in North America or in Europe. And the guys who can do both are then also obviously higher in the rankings. With your body now better in New York only three weeks away, is there another slam left in you, Roger? Could there be multiple majors ahead before the end of the career? Clearly, I mean, I hope so. Um, you just never know. Plus, uh, after a tournament like Wimbledon, clearly you feel absolutely, you know, but then what does, you know, the future hold? Uh, nobody knows. Uh, I feel if I put myself into these contentions and, uh, and, and in these positions time and time again, I definitely feel I can, you know. Um, um, and regardless of w which one it is, which surface it is, I believe I can go, you know, very deep at all these tournaments frequently. Um, it's just about staying healthy for me and mentally fresh and motivated, and that I am. So I'm, I'm excited for, for the, um, the US Open already now, but uh, the focus clearly is now, right now in Toronto.